All right, DC, you've had a lot of high praise for this mixed martial artist leading into the fight this week. He is as well-rounded a fighter as we have in this division and kind of a case of pick your poison. He can do it all. He can do it all in one package. I mean, I think of the greats, the George St. Pierre's of, uh, of the, the John Joneses and the best fighters in the world, the guys that just seem to possess every skill that allows for them to be great. This man has that. He has that ability. How does he implement that? How does he use all those skills in order to get his hand raised? He's done it time and time again. Big task tonight. But I would imagine with that skill set, he can get it done. Yeah, he said confidently, I've got to be ready for everything. Perhaps more of a specialist on the other side. But this man has accomplished a great deal thus far. And he has shown no signs of slowing down. So another big fight has arrived for this outstanding boxer. And certainly we could talk about other parts of his game, but I know you like to lead the dance when it comes to his hands because they are sharp. Yeah, Johnny, when he's most comfortable, when he's having his most success, it's whenever he's comfortable in the boxing realm. When he can fight behind that beautiful jab, set up the one-two, set up the jab-jab right hand. And also those body shots. You see him turn and pivot and dig right up under the elbow with those body shots that can really put his opponent down. So while he may not like to be called a boxer, he wants to be called mixed martial artist, being a boxer is what's allowed him to be where he is today. And you know what? When Bruce Buffer announces him here in a few minutes, he'll call you mixed martial artist, but we'd like to see the hands here tonight. <laughs> Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former USC light heavyweight champion, John Bones! John! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the ex-murderer! The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Good. All right, so we get another look at John Bones Jones here tonight. He immediately takes the center of the octagon. We'll see if he goes to the striking here early. You know he can also grapple with the best of them, but an obvious reach advantage yet again for John Bones Jones tonight. 84 and a half inches in reach, something that is very difficult for opponents to count. comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Nice leg kick. Now he's got the single collar and the clinch. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. That hook was bad. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones' call to play. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Two 
beautiful defensive skills on the score. That left hook was crazy. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Oh, nice right hand. A beautiful one two punch. So, pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So, you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. A minute now to go round one. Oh, he's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Useful strike there. The hook is clean. So the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. So here is John Jones with his reach approaching 85 inches, a difficult proposition for any opposition. Jones here immediately takes the center of the octagon. We'll see how he approaches the early moments in this one. Pinpoint jab from Johnny Bones, 84-inch reach. Must be nice, DC, right, to have that length. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, no surprise to see an early takedown attempt. And the boxer is able to stay upright. Got to be a source of confidence for him moving forward. And, and that's the surprise, J.A. The surprise is that he was able to defend. Now let's see how much confidence he takes from defending that takedown and making this wrestler stay upright with him. Tries to work it into a takedown. My oh, well, his hooks have been a big storyline in this one, and there it is again. So just when you thought maybe the opponent had made the requisite adjustments, he gets cracked again. He gets cracked again, and it does not take many of those hooks to end your night. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Well, he was setting up the hooks early and often tonight. Watch for him to try to set it up again here. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Oh, how clean is that jab by Silva? All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Great block there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. The takedown is not there. Nice job by Johnny Bones there on the feet. I'm not in the prediction business, but if the opponent doesn't adjust here, this could be the beginning of the year. He's got to do something different. Because for Jones, he's not only a diverse striker, but he's a fantastic finisher. He's a guy that when he gets the opponent's hurt, he knows where to find the spot in their night. Oh, you can start to see him limp. Oh. Big, big strikes continue to land. Big lead in the body. Oh, my feet. Oh, right hand. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. And back to his feet. Now a knee. Oh, my goodness. I mean, how about those last five minutes? Are you kidding me? All right, so that's... 
the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheeks. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Beautiful punch to the body. Oh, effective use of the jab by Silva. Every strike he lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. And he needed to address it a little bit sooner because now that damage is starting to pile up. Oh, man. Good stick to the body. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence. <laughs> Big shots, too. He's hooked him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. He kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pin. Jones is doing a nice job there. You saw him raise the guard to block that offering from the opponent. Don't want to sustain any more damage on that cut that has already been opened up. Silva's able to switch his stance here. We'll see how the defense responds. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and he hurt him again. We might get a stoppage here. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Vanderlei Silva. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Oh my God! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, we set it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 25 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the ex-murderer, Andre Silva! So Vanderlei Silva gets his hand raised here tonight. This is a fighter who has made a career of not just winning, but entertaining fight fans along the way. And this was vintage Vanderlei Silva here tonight.